I want to welcome you in. Today we're going to be talking about how to become a safe driver. If you don't know, I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. I need all of you to tell your friends that the funny guy is on and we're going to go ahead and get it. How to keep you and your passengers safe. Had a lot of questions on this, so let's go ahead and answer it. To ensure the safety of both you and your passenger, it's essential to follow some of these important guidelines. Seatbelts. Seatbelts, always wear your seatbelts and encourage your passengers to do the same. Seatbelts must be worn in an effective way to allow you to avoid serious injury. So seatbelts are really important. Um, guys, I want to hit my goal. I need all of you to support. I need all of you to encourage your friends to come on. I want to say hello. So we're talking about how to become a safe driver. Next, speed limits. Adhere to the posted speed limit. Limit and adjust your speed on roads and based on weather conditions. Speeding increases the risk of accidents and reduces your ability of unexpected situations. This could be deer. This could be people pulling out a road in front of you. If you have questions, go ahead and type them in. Check your brakes and lights. Make sure your vehicle is in good condition. That's extremely important. Check electrical components, such as your headlights or taillights. That will help you become a safer driver because when you're on the road, you have to see and be seen. If you have questions, go ahead and type them in. Next, drive defensively. A defensive driver is always ready for any type of circumstance or different situations. When you drive defensive, you are aware of other drivers and you have techniques to avoid accidents. Don't run lights. If you can stop within three seconds, you should. Avoid impairment. Never drive under the influence of anything that will cause you to not focus on the road. Be mindful of the weather. If you have questions, Jada, Kendrick, type them in. I'm here for you. I'm going to encourage your friends to join. I typed in ask me some questions about driving, so go ahead and do that. Next, you want to be mindful of weather conditions. Adjust your speed to the conditions on the road. Hello, Christina. Hello, Aubrey. Hello, Rachel. You want to adjust your speed for the conditions on the road so other drivers know what you're doing and how you can avoid those situations. Snow and rain are also really important. And you want to be aware of what you need to do to help you understand about the different types of areas that you have to deal with. So that's really important. What's up, Queen? You have questions, go ahead and ask. I'm here for you. Limit night driving. Night driving can be very challenging for many drivers. There are long hours. Focus on the cars next to me. Um, we always watch traffic, and that's really important. But also, you need to be aware of traffic to your left and right, but also you want to look ahead. Uh, just reach out to me under my bio. You can reach out there. Next, night driving. You want to have good headlights. Good headlights allow you. Hey, Vicky. Edot. You want Israel. Good lights will allow you to see and be seen. That will illuminate what's in front of you. So if you have good crispy headlights, you can see what's going on. So that's really important. Remember, safe driving is the responsibility we all share. You have questions, type them in, please. What's up, Ash? By following these guidelines, you can ensure that you reduce your chance of an accident. Next, I'm going to discuss some other information to help all of you uh, be successful. What's up, Ben? Um, 
what makes a good driving instructor? This is from the student's perspective. So let's go ahead and talk about this. Number one, a good driving instructor is patient. You're out learning how to drive. You've never been in a car before. So you really want to take your time and make sure you understand. I encourage you to ask me some more questions. Next, good instructors are patient. They don't yell at you when you make mistakes. I may ask you to turn left, you go right. I may ask you to go right, you go left. Yes, if your school, Duane, offers uh, driver's education, by all means take it. Um, there's a waiting list, there's a shortage of instructors around um, the country and in various states. If your high school still has driver's ed, you need to take it. Okay? Knock it out. Get it done. Ask more questions. Um, good instructors give you directions in advance. For example, at the light, I need you to take a left. Also, to use hand directions. That's really important. Good instructors don't make last minute decisions. You want someone who's going to be consistent with you and help you. Is it too late to start driving? No, it's never too late to start driving. You need to have a good instructor. You might have to go take private lessons. You need to find an instructor who understands you and who is patient. That's a great question. If that brings you value, I guess drop me a slice of pizza. My permit expires in a year. I have to re... No, you don't have to retake the permit test. You just... What's up, Logan? You just... What's up, Sarah? You just need to... Go um, to the location that helped you get that permit, and they'll sign and give you another one. If you are over 18 and you have a TIP, a TIP is a temporary instruction permit, then you're going to have to go back to the DMV where you got it, and you might have to pay an additional fee to get another 30 to 45 days. So during that time, you want to practice. What's up, Kendall? Next, good instructors make conversations with you. And our goal is to help you become successful. My goal is to help you become successful. Okay? Got other questions? Type them in. Next, um, good instructors have visual demonstrations. For example, they demonstrate how to sit in the car. You want to adjust your seat. You want to make sure it's adjusted properly. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Nice to have you back on again. Um, <clears throat> we're talking about what makes a good driving instructor and how to drive safe. Thank you for coming in my life. I do appreciate you. Thank you, Sarah. Um, there's a good visual demonstration. We're all visual learners. Thank you, Logan. I appreciate that. When we're visual learners, we learn from drawings, images, or someone actually showing us what to do. If we were all in the car together, I would show you how to parallel park. I will show you how to line up your vehicle. Um, and thank you, London. I would show you how to have great speed control. Is a permit test on a computer or do you have to drive a vehicle for you? Um, it depends on the state, but most locations, you would have to go in. You would have to take a test. Uh, it's a paper and pencil test. Some DMVs have paper and pencil. It would be 18 or 25 questions. You would take the test, they would check it in front of you. They're up to 10 different versions. So I'm giving you a little bit of good information. That's a great question. Okay, that brought you value. I think I'm trying to get 50 slices of pizza tonight. Hey, Daisy. So ask more questions. When adjusting your side mirror, do we use the back door handle or the front door handle? Um, I would use the, the back door handle. You want to look... The key thing is you want to be able to see what's in that area behind your doors. Um, it could be a door handle. It could be the side of the car. But when you look, you want to be able to see. But also you have to look over your shoulder. Sarah, that was a good question. Keep bringing those questions in. What's up, Mel Mel? What's up, Mar? Um, next, good instructors are very considerate. I have a young lady going to Brazil. And she can't drive this weekend, so I'm going to have to reschedule. And I understand that. But also, we have a time limit to get the student done. What's up, Adam? So it's really important. Good instructors are fun teachers. I try to be fun. I try to enjoy what I do. And I think that's really important. 
My goal is to get as many diamonds as possible. What's up, Ethan? How are you? What's up, Joseph? What's up, Spencer? What's up, Brittany? How are you? We're talking about driver's head tonight, how to be a safe driver, what makes a good driving instructor. If you have questions, go ahead and put them in. Okay. I put in there and ask me questions. You can go ahead and do that. This is pertaining to driver's education. Next, good instructors are very positive. Uh, a positive instructor, well, any tips on parallel parking? You want to line your car up evenly, reverse back, go at a 45 angle. You should be going on railroad tracks under 15 miles an hour. If you go too fast, you will bottom out your car or you'll catch air. Both are dangerous. Uh, good instructors are always reminding you, hello, they're always reminding you to do things the right way. And that's really important. In the classroom, they interact with you. They allow you time to work on your work. They allow you to fix your mistakes on the quiz. And they use the hands to show you how to drive. Good instructors make jokes. Hello, Dolly. There's no awkward silence in the car. In the classroom, they allow you to play games. They use physical demonstrations, such as your steering wheel. Also, they allow you for movement because you've been sitting for two hours. It's important that you enjoy the classroom. So I'm a classroom instructor. I'm also, also do anchor. Um, good instructors treat you like an adult, and that's really important. Many of you are of adult age. Uh, driving is a huge responsibility. If this brought you value, uh, you know, drop a diamond. I'm like, thank you. I got some fire. Thank you, Logan. Appreciate that. It means a lot. If this is bringing you value. Let's, let's get some fire going. Um, good instructors are patient. They don't belittle you. They don't make you feel bad when you make mistakes. They help you. And the reason I became an instructor is about helping uh, teens and adults become good drivers. And it does take time to become better. Uh, also, in the car, they allow you to listen to music quietly, listen to the radio. Uh, in the classroom, the teacher, a teacher that is funny, they use diagrams and pictures to help us learn how to drive. If you have other questions, go ahead and type them in. Some of the past questions, how fast should I go over a railroad track? I would say under 20 miles an hour, you're gonna wanna bottom out the car. Another question that I had, how do you adjust your mirrors? Sarah asked me this. You want to see a little bit of the door handles, but also more importantly, you want to see the side of the car. Uh, you will use your side mirrors to help you when you make lane changes, but you have to look over your shoulder. Good question. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you. If you have any other questions, just reach out, uh, follow me. I want to say thank you so much. Bye, guys.